the average global screen time is seven hours and during that time 23 billion messages are sent 3.7 million new videos are uploaded to youtube and two plus million articles are published on the web that's a lot of information can we handle it the human brain is powerful it can process up to 11 million bits of information per second but what nobody tells you is that your conscious mind can only process up to 40 bits and that's the only number that matters everything else is noise so if you feel overwhelmed or drain of mental energy you are much closer to information overload than you think and this video is for you we're going to solve the problem of information overload with a simple system that i implemented when i got burnt out because of creating content and after this video you will never have to unplug from the internet or go to nature just to feel better so let's dive in believe it or not information overload is not a 21st century problem there is a documentary from 1979 talking about how tech advancements are rapidly increasing the amount of information in the world and it's really fascinating how all the problems they were talking about back then are happening right now the main problem even then was separating trash data and quality knowledge and it's funny because we confuse all this data in the world with information that we should take the reality is that we shouldn't soak up everything we watch on youtube YouTube, read in the news or listen to on a podcast forget what your parents told you you shouldn't be like a sponge instead you need to be a coffee filter and coffee filters are designed to remove all the unwanted particles from the good coffee you prepare the grounded beans that's all the content you intake on a daily level you put a filter over the cup so that you can separate what's valuable and what's not and then you pour water over it and you're left with a much better brew at the end the filter is specifically designed to remove the shit from your drink so if you put water over the coffee without the filter you will be left with a bitter murky substance the cup is your brain and that disgusting substance is all the trash info we intake on a daily level and that includes reality shows political propaganda and music promoting violence and we're all guilty of it hear me out not all information is worth consuming not every lesson is worth failing for and not every book is worth reading the point of this analogy is that you need something to filter all the information that goes into your mind filtered information means more clarity in making the important decisions which life is all about you can remove your phone or delete social media for some time but we're not trying to run away from life on this channel instead of trying to escape from information that will inevitably catch us we have to build a system that filters out all the data and only lets useful things into our mind and while this works for most people it doesn't solve the problem because it's based on you having to get overloaded first and then solve the problem with all these things the common advice to deal with information overload is to exercise unplug from social media go into nature meditate sleep and while all of this works for most people it's based on the fact that you need to get information overloaded in the first place and then try to fix it with all these activities it's like putting a band-aid on a two inch deep stab wound what are you going to unplug meditate and go hiking every day even though i do some of these things on a daily basis it's not the real solution it's the basic move a lot and eat healthy no shit sherlock kind of advice let's actually dig deeper and find a real answer the cure to information overload is more information information. It's not information overload, it's filter failure. We talked about why having a filter is important. It resembles a system for dividing data that you should consume and take action on and the data that you don't need. And that's our solution for beating information overload. Not relying on being the most disciplined human ever, doing three hour morning routines and acting like a Shaolin monk, but building systems that work for us because we know we are human and we make mistakes. Disclaimer, I am a proponent of discipline and I think I have a lot of it, but discipline works until it doesn't meaning until a certain extent you can't enforce discipline when you haven't slept for 48 hours your body just says fuck your discipline and your mindset back to the topic of information overload what do people do when they're upset or angry they're angry because they just took a lot of information in forms of feelings and they usually go find a friend and complain to him or something they cry they let it all out and by doing that and saying it out loud they structure it into their own mind and after that they feel better what if i told you that you can do the same thing but instead of letting it all out on other people you do that somewhere else plus you get benefits from it we're not breaking up with our girl here but if you're researching learning working scrolling your phone watching videos there is a tsunami of information coming at you both useful and not especially if you're creating content like i do right now remember we don't know which info is good yet we have a lot of people talking including me one guru says no fap is good the other one says it has no benefits who's right you don't know 
I don't know, so how do we know? We run it through a system called the Mind Filter, and this system is used to filter, offload, and outsource all the information that we intake on a daily level. Luckily, it's free. I designed it for you in three steps and in this exact order and with these instructions that I'm going to show you right now. So let's hop onto my setup so that I can really show you how it works. Okay, guys, we're at my setup and we're going to go over the Mind Filter, the free Notion document I created for you. Again, link in the description to download it. It's free believe me uh, and let's uh, pay attention to the screen so the first and the most important things are values and decision making and we're filtering it here through these three steps we're filtering information that's why it's called the mind filter so let's get into values and decision making what are the values that determine whether you choose something or not put three to five of your most important values down below here i have my values for example i jotted like four of them science backed does this have any science backed evidence i like things to be science based critical thinking does this make sense to me does this make sense to like me in my head heart feeling is this who i am in my heart we talked about this and long term is this going to cause short-term pain and long-term gain or vice versa so i made this just as an example i would have some more values i would probably throw out some and add some but for this purposes it works so any info you think is valuable enough that you need to run it through these values go ahead and do it that's why you have them written here so you can just go okay this info is it signs back does this make sense to me is this who i am in my heart is this going to cause short-term pain blah 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 and so forth and so forth so that's for the values and decision making we're filtering our information through our values and then making a decision where we're gonna put this information the second step are action taking and to do's and we have two hemispheres in our brains and this section deals with the action side of our brain information on which we can take action soon so actionable info as information comes into our mind the first question we should get is is this something that i need to do soon example you agree to a meeting at 12 pm tomorrow is that something that you need to take action on of course you need to schedule that meeting into your google calendar there are two types of actionable information the first one is specific time those that you should probably put into your calendar those are things like meetings events schedule things and the question you need to ask yourself is does this action need to take place at a certain time and if the answer is yes put it into the calendar down below here we go to the calendar you don't need a fancy ass calendar this is what i use on a daily basis you can also use google calendar if you like but i have everything in ocean and if i have a meeting let's say at 10 i put meeting with editors with editors whatever i made this calendar for you guys to use you can also paste zoom links uh, google meet links here please read this text i don't have time to read it right now but it's important because i wrote it don't overcomplicate it use this calendar the second thing is to do's and those are the things that you should put in your task manager checklist to do list call it whatever you want so things like writing a video meal prep clean the kitchen so activities uh, that don't have an exact time but you still need to do them put them into the task manager here i made this task manager specifically how i do it i have like projects for example youtube channel the second one is mentorship program and the third one can be consultations let's say and then i have task one task two task three this is priority task for every one of my projects or goals and then i have other tasks which are not priorities but they need to be done nonetheless so that's it for the action taking and to do's and the third thing is my second brain and this idea comes from a productivity expert called tiago forte he has a youtube channel go look it up but if you're a creator or you take in a lot of information or you do business or anything you need to have a second brain because that's where you will have your storage of information that you can always come back to so all the things that you've learned or your notes your ideas everything and i'll show you right now how all of it works so when we click on notes here it opens up a database of all the useful knowledge that you've learned from these mediums from courses books content ideas podcasts youtube videos so if you for example watch one of my videos and you've taken notes on it like the neutrality one uh, you can like put notes there and then whenever you need to come back to that information you're maybe writing something about neutrality yourself uh, you search into notion neutrality then you go look into my video my ideas what i said and then you develop yours so that's how all of this works so the same with courses book notes etc and when we click here you have as you see course one course two course three i name these for example in youtube videos i name these uh, the name of the video and then i link the video and embed the file 
uh, in so I exactly know what video that is and I can click and watch it into Notion. I hope I made everything clear, but the next thing is storage. And here, it's really simple. You put, you storage all the files you have here. So like pictures, you see this, this is when I had only a thousand followers on Instagram. Then you like, for example, books, then you add here PDF files uh, that you can access on demand whenever you need to, and you can search them. And then also like links to Google Drive. So you click here, it opens up your Google Drive. You, you know, put everything that you need to there. All of this is a hub for you to filter the information to see if you can take action on it or put it into to do's to actually make something out of it and then at the end if you can't then you storage it here and you can use it later and that is the whole concept okay i hope everything makes sense back to the main cam information overload only exists when you don't have a goal system and priorities to filter the information's applicability this system is called the mind filter because it has everything to block out the useless and to let in the useful we start with your values which is the most important thing then we go on to taking action clarifying what your priorities goals and to do's are and putting them where they need to be and at last we filter the information through the whole system and write what's valuable in our second brain so that we can use it later and we don't have to start from scratch all the time somebody asked elon musk on reddit what the daily habit had the most impact on his life and he replied with showers he says that when he doesn't have showers he feels kind of out of place so if elon says that there must be some truth to it if i do get information overloaded or ever feel depleted even with all these systems here are three things that you can do right now that will instantly make you feel better long showers because it's me time and you get to think about things and a lot of my ideas actually come from the shower long walks alone because nothing beats going on a walk alone without any distractions meaning no friends no music no phone calls on these long walks try to be present focus on the movement of things around you become aware of the sounds the colors everything like the sound of a bicycle passing by or how different people walk in different ways and how the shoe scratches when the little kids hits the curb i'm not insane i promise this is how i got good at sound design because i was aware of all the sounds going around me and then i just converted that to editing and the last thing i can't stress enough it's training and it can be running combat sports weights whatever you choose when i'm low energy i go to jiu-jitsu because i realize that when i do weights i need to focus a lot and bjj just puts me in this kind of flow where i forget everything and just go that's the video we have a system to not get overloaded with information and when you do you know what to do and remember not all information is worth consuming not every lesson is worth failing for and not every book is worth reading because all of humanity's problems stem from a man's inability to sit quietly in a room alone and not consume any information i made up that last part but if you fancy these types of videos click subscribe and turn on the bell notifications to get notified whenever the new one comes out some cool news i made a one dollar page on community called the philosophy creators and we have weekly calls there with all the members talking about philosophy content and trying to connect the dots and get closer to truth there's no option on patreon for the community to be totally free otherwise it would be but it's only one dollar now so get in before the price increases also the free notion page is in the description sending love to you all bye